People ask us all the time, okay, if you're spraying foam to the underside of the roof, how are you gonna deal with the soffit detail? Isn't the soffit supposed to be insulated? Well, that is with old fashioned conventional outdated materials where you're having to put ventilation in to deal with moisture accumulation, air leakage that's gonna get from inside the structure up into the attic space has to be vented and gone. That's the theory. Does it work effectively? No. Here we've got an actual rafter heel, we've got a piece of blocking that has been installed ahead of time. Closed cell spray foam is being sprayed to the underside of the roof and then turning the corner, coming down the heel and onto the plate. So now you're fully insulated. So no air is coming up and inside. So this is going to glue everything down. It's going to create amazing wind uplift resistance. Even though they've got hurricane clips, you'll see the metal hurricane clips in these situations, right? And when the clips are inboard and far ahead of the spray foam, they stay warm enough that they don't condense and drip and create problems provided the humidity level within the structure stays below 50% RH. But this is how we do a normal detail. And you can spray two inch, three inch, four inch, and whatever you need. But generally, we always just take it to diminishing return.